Hello guys, today I will show you the Hobby King uh, twin unit what I received, so we'll see. Just it came a little bit damaged, so we'll see how it's packed. Definitely looks better than Flip Sky Vesk. So made in China as usual, unfortunately. Okay. A oh, little bit dust. Okay. Much better than the previous whisk. Okay. Okay, now I'm a little bit confused. I was thinking this is 4.12 twin, but yeah, probably it's Ah, this one. We're talking about this one. Continuous current varies to depend on the temperature and the air, air circulation of the device. Okay. And here we are. I will start with this. Quite a lot of cables. Wow. Okay. And to be honest on the feelings it's really nice in hand. When I compare this with the cables from Flip Sky they are really thicker. This is it looks like a like a silicon. It looks like on the feeling in my hand. Not so bad. Okay, so which cables there are? Two. So it looks like for the motors. Okay. Those two also. And here will be next one and one. So it looks there is a complete cables you need. And uh, switch. Oh, cables on the switch it's are stiffer. Okay, there are three pin. Okay, inside there is no silicon inside. It's yeah, it's just the heat shrink, but no silicon inside. And uh, the matter is sixteen. Oh, 
totally different feeling than flip sky totally <laughs> you will see the spring is here stronger I would say okay Looks that it was already opened. I don't know. Looks like. Hey! Whoa! This is aluminium on top. Uh huh. I was thinking that it's just the plastic, cheap plastic, but no! On the top is aluminium. That's positive. It's really positive. Okay, connector are missing, but nothing terrible. It was expected on the website, but I'm really surprised. This is aluminium. Wow. Cool. Okay. Let's check the basic dimensions 65 65 and 115 mm and thickness 24 24 mm okay length of the cables for the motor it's uh, 12 centimeters and 17 centimeters cables looks solid for the motors 12 AVG this should be, I would say, 10 AVG. Yeah, but not so bad. I'm positively surprised. Maybe I can open it some way and check it inside. Let's check the weight. Okay, and uh, so let's open it. So, sorry for the sound issues, guys. Uh, I would like to continue with our background. So, uh, I removed the top, top cover from the aluminium. And I don't want to repeat this again, because there is a plastic housing, and this plastic housing, uh, you, will, you will damage inside the the treat from the for the screws so i would like to open it as less as is possible and now you can see how it looks inside it looks not so bad but uh, right now when you see the heat distributing tape on the top so it looks quite strange for me because there are the the thing mark yeah now you can see it that uh, this tape is touching uh uh, MOSFETs, but uh, just two and a half MOSFETs on one side, yeah, and the same is on the on the other side, two and a half on the other side, 
I don't know why so much tape is there when it's touching not complete MOSFETs. So this is something which should be, I would say, improved. And uh, maybe we can continue to check it from the from the below side. Now it's just easy removed out. There is a no problem. It's very very easy to to do it. And uh, from the back side, you can see the capacitors layout which is uh, also not so good because the capacitors you can see are fixed very weak so this is definitely something what you need to improve put here the neutral silicone which will not cause the corrosion of the components and fix this against the vi vibration yeah so this is definitely what needs to be done here if you would like to use it that's my recommendation and not just only my uh, also question is how how much uh, current is really possible to 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 use on this device and right now you can see there are the sticker on the sticker is a uh, year mm, 2020 i mean it was around august so i hope it sh it's a uh, date of i don't know of of the capacitors production or or the vesk production i don't know but we can say it's positive that is something which is tracked here yeah so it's not just uh, produced without any any cv the maybe this uh, this is something good that uh, the producer is able i hope it's able based on the sticker and uh, serial number or other numbers identify identify uh, this or those uh, components in case of an issue so from my point of view it's a good choice in case you you buy it for sale definitely i bought this for 130 dollars i understood uh, or i saw that also guys from us are able to buy it for 90 dollars now you can see the small comparison with the flip sky single unit so for the for the uh, dimensions are more or less the, the not same but you can see there is a two vesk plus uh, anti-spark switch so in case that you buy this for for uh, this price, I would say it's it's good uh, good deal. So thank you guys and uh, have a nice evening.